You're going to hear a session at the Savoy Ballroom in Harlem, also known as the home of Happy Feet. If you walk in the Savoy Ballroom, you became a swinger right away. You see them people out there dancing, man. Even the floor used to be bouncing. No rules really applied, and people made up insane moves that shouldn't be possible. That's where Lindy Hop was born, right there in the Savoy Ballroom, black or white. Everyone sat together, everyone danced together. If you went up to the Savoy, you'd find somebody to dance with. This is a really fun doodle. It's celebrating a venue that was paving the way at the time. Hi, I'm Connor Lane. I'm a software engineer on the Google Doodle team, and I am the lead engineer for the doodle celebrating swing dancing in the Savoy Ballroom. What I wanted to do was translate the experience of dancing into a multiplayer game, but also kind of learn about the Savoy as you go along. That was my second home. I was there seven nights a week. I just loved the place. I'm Sugar Sullivan. I'm a performer, choreographer, teacher. Lindy Hoppin ruled my life <laughs> since 1944. I started going to the Savoy when I was 18. The dance floor was a block long and two big bands at the same time. So the music never stopped. As I was formulating the idea, I remember my wife said dancing wasn't a competition, but it was rather a conversation. Out. Seven, your middle foot. My name's Elizabeth. I'm Connor's wife. I am a swing dancer. I started in 2017. So when Connor picked the Savoy Ballroom as his topic, I helped with providing song choices that the community really loves and just gave some insight on different ways to make the game feel more like an authentic swing dance. I feel like the idea of a conversation translates well into a co-op game where you do something and then your partner does something back and that's kind of why the note moves back and forth. I love that this doodle makes people actually connect physically. You literally have to bump elbows to play this game together. I'm Nate Swinehart, the lead artist for the doodle. For this, I wanted to try and figure out something that felt like it had the energy of the Savoy but was not too distracting as you're following the note. The allure of the game is like the note feels alive and feels like it has a mind of its own. I have some code that makes it follow kind of interesting paths. Sometimes it does a loop and sometimes it does a little wave. So there's a lot of opportunity to make it surprising and interesting. Visually researching for this doodle, upon looking at a lot of the Savoy Ballroom posters at the time, I was struck by one in particular that showed dancers as silhouettes with like negative space. And I thought, let's just simplify the dancers to silhouettes. Also, when you think of swing dancing, you think of a man and a woman dancing together. But a lot of the footage that I found was actually two men dancing together or two women dancing together. I've seen it change. Been doing aerials and Lindy Hop, guys throwing guys and girls throwing girls. Inclusion was a big part of the Savoy. So that was really important to make sure that we included in the doodle. Next, we started to think about the animation. Nate actually did the Frankie Manning doodle a couple years ago, so he already had some experience with motion of swing dancing. You had to listen to that drummer and follow the beat. I did aerial steps, and they called us flyers. We got thrown in the air, we got thrown around the waist. Swing dancing is very specific in the movement and the timing. Going to do the rock step and holding it and being like, where is my weight right now? You can't really fake that with the animation, so you really have to put the time in to make sure that you're accurately depicting how these moves are done. It's been about a year since we had social dances, so I'm really hoping that when people play the game, that to them it feels like they're back dancing, and I just hope that they get the feeling of nostalgia. When people play this doodle, I hope that first of all they have a great time playing with one of their friends, but I also hope that they learn something about the Savoy, the timeless impact that it's made, and I'm proud to be part of something that's kind of bringing that to light again. It deserves that moment for people to learn about what it is, and when when people play this doodle, I hope that they feel the same joy for life that dancers at the Savoy Ballroom did. The people that I met there still have a couple of them for friends till this day. And I hope the doodle brings us more dancers, make people be interested in, well, I want to learn this dance that they're talking about. <laughs> that concludes our visit at the first place of Harlem Lindy Hop, the Savoy Ballroom.